Hello everyone, thatching into today's fur video, doing snow watch for today's fur video. So here we go again. We've done so many snow watches this winter, uh, haven't we, compared to uh, last week. It's all been in the north though so far, but this time we may get a little bit uh, down in the south actually. So we're focusing on Saturday night and particularly Sunday, uh, I think, for the chance of some snow across some areas. We're probably not going to be talking about huge amounts, but it could be a nice little, you know, uh, two or three centimetre uh, type uh, snow event um, during course Saturday night and uh, into Sunday uh, across particularly more southern areas, I think, will be the focus um, for this. So, yeah, a little, little bit of interest here uh, for those of you in the snow star south, and I shall get on it for you very shortly. Of course, the caveat is that this is like uh, three days away, so um, it's it's still some time away. There's still time for this to, to go wrong. Um, but hopefully we can get you a little bit of snow uh, for those areas in the south. I'll go through uh, the detail in a moment. Um, just to say that first of your release day was European Outlook. And we also, uh, of course, released a 10 to 14 day uh, uh, as well. So uh, have a look at those two uh, videos if you would like to to do that. There's a very funny moment at the very end of 10 to 14 day uh, where somebody was dialing in to gas weather these towers. So if you want to have a look at that then um, then yeah have a look at the 10 to 14 day. I know a lot of you will find it quite amusing um, but there's always somebody ringing you know to gas weather these towers so have a look at that if you have not yet done so. Thank you so much to Richard for the amazing uh, Gaz Weatherby's Snow Watch GIF. Thank you, Rich, uh, for the GIF. I wish that was Gaz Weatherby's Towers, but maybe one day that, that will be Gaz Weatherby's Towers. Maybe, might be. I don't think it will be, but it would be nice if it was, wouldn't it? Uh, thanks, Rich, for that. Right, let's get on with Snow Watch then. So, uh, we're going to start our fact charts. These are the human interpretation models by the forecasters at the UK uh, Met. Um, so, this is, this is just sort of telling us what's happening. So, so Storm Christoph, uh, which brought all of, the, all of the havoc over the past couple of days, has gone off up to Norway. Uh, and we, we're pulling in a cold and northerly wind. Um, so, so we're in a different air mass now. Uh, we're in a polar maritime air, air mass and it's a lot colder. This is a fact chart for midday tomorrow showing uh, that we've got a northwesterly to northerly wind and there are sort of features coming uh, down on that northerly northwesterly wind. So there will be uh, enhanced shower activity, particularly so for the western side of the country. Uh, that's fact chart for midnight on uh, Saturday. So there is one little feature that's going to miss us and moving to France overnight Friday into Saturday. Um, that little area of low pressure just there. We're going to remain uh, like in a showery north northwesterly uh, for uh, Saturday. So Saturday will be kind of like a bright day, plenty of sunshine. Probably quite a lot of dry weather for uh, eastern parts of the country. Showers most likely in the north and in the west. It will be cold um, as well. And this is a fact sharp for midday on Saturday. It's this little area, <coughs> excuse me, this little area of low pressure just here at 989 millibars that we're looking to to potentially bring a little bit of snow in for Sunday. Uh, so that's the facts chart for mid, uh, for midnight on Saturday night to Sunday. That low is moving in towards Ireland at that point. It's coming into cold air. Um, and so precipitation on this as it bumps into the cold air could turn to snow. Up, could turn to snow. Now the exact track of this low pressure is going to be critical. For who gets snow. Uh, so this is the fact chart for midday on Sunday. This is as far as we get to at the moment. And the low pressure then is running from Ireland through probably, uh, particularly South Wales, South West England, and in towards more southern counties. So this would imply that the UK Met are placing the snow risk quite a long way south. It's probably leads like the Midlands, East Anglia, Lincolnshire out of the snow risk, really, unless the low pressure was to pivot and push northwards, which it could do, but I think the most likely track with this is from Ireland to uh, South Wales, South West England, and then to like central southern England, and then down into to, uh, northern France. Um, so, so this would imply that large parts of mid and north Wales, probably the Midlands, East Anglia, probably miss out on the snow risk. But of course, this is three days away. This low pressure could be trapped further northwards, um, or it could track even further south. So if it tracks any further southwards, then we're going to struggle to get much away of snow 
into anywhere in the South Southwest. So it's best a caveat with this, but, but it's three days away. The track of below is not uh, guaranteed by any means, but there is a chance, and it's probably the first time this winter, that we could get a covering of snow for some southern and southwestern parts of the country. So that's told you what's happening. Let's have a look at some model data then. So we're going to start off with the uh, GFS. Uh, so this is from theweatheroutlook.com. Uh, so we're starting off right now, uh, this evening, with wintry showers primarily in the northern west. Tomorrow, uh, we're going to have plenty of wintry showers peppering northern western coasts and northern Ireland. Also some wintry showers around northwest England, northwest Wales, down to southwest England. Loads of dry weather, though, for central and eastern parts of the country. Into, uh, so that's Friday, into Saturday. Um, again, the emphasis is on is on wintry showers in the north and west, really. So, 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 uh, so we've got some uh, snow showers piling in across Wales there down to southwest England through uh, Saturday morning. More wintry showers, and they're primarily snow showers, actually, around uh, uh, northern west of coast of Scotland and down into Northern Ireland. Um, that area of snow showers sort of pushes eastwards through the course of Saturday morning across um, southern parts of the country. So maybe even a little bit of dusting and snow possible through Saturday. But but there will be a lot of dry weather around uh, on Saturday uh, as well. I mean, it's overnight Saturday to Sunday, but we get this more general area of snow moving in towards uh, Wales, southwest England, and also up the Irish Sea. Um, now, around the coast, this is likely to be rain, but you see, you don't have to go far inland for the risk of some um, quite heavy snow. And that's like 9am on Sunday morning, and there is a proper snow event uh, being forecast here for like northwest England, north, uh, north Wales, most of Wales actually forecast to get snow, and down into southwestern parts of England too, also pushing in some central southern parts of England. Uh, midday, snowing quite heavily in the west and in the southwest, and that's beginning to spread along the south coast uh, as well, struggling to get much into the Midlands and sort of eastern England, though. So it's primarily west and southern areas uh, on the GFS. For example, where I am in North France, would be snow free um, with this. But like Wales, South West England, Central Southern England, um, definitely risk of some snow, uh, quite significant snow as well um, during the course of Sunday. And then, of course, it all clears away into France and then that, that's the end of it. As we go into Monday, we're into a much drier day then. Let's have a look at the Arpege, see what that one shows. So the GFS, of course, is like uh, uh, a low resolution model. The Arpege looks like this. So again, wintry showers in the north and west, always struggling uh, with Arpege to show up the, the wintry showers. There will be more wintry showers around tomorrow than that would suggest. Into Saturday, again, not really showing up a great deal compared to what the GFS showed. The GFS probably showing up, showing up too much for Saturday, but the Arpege probably shows too little for Saturday. So probably somewhere uh, between the two models. Uh, and then we go through into Sunday, and again, not really showing up a huge amount, is it? There's some snow uh, around southwestern Scotland, rain into the Irish Sea. Nothing really over Wales and southwestern England or central southern England. Um, so, so very disappointing amounts from Arpege. Uh, late on Sunday, something's coming down from northwest England towards the Midlands um, and through Wales as well. So a little bit of snow pushing down uh, through the country during the course of Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening. Might be enough for a centimetre or two through the Midlands, for example. But compared to GFS, that's very toned down, actually, the Arpege. Very, very toned down, as it, as it often is. And by Monday, we're into mostly dry weather. Right, that's that one done. This is the uh, Icon, DWD Icon. So let's have a look at this one, then. And uh, again, so we've got snow showers around the western coast of Scotland and Northern Ireland at the moment. Otherwise, quite a bit of dry weather tomorrow. Again, we've got those uh, showers really piling in to uh, northern and western parts of the against northwest Scotland, down to Northern Ireland, northwestern parts of England uh, as well. Many other places are dry uh, tomorrow. Saturday, uh, this is more in line with what the, uh, with what the um, GFS was showing. I think there is some quite heavy snow showers. Perhaps even longer spells of snow around uh, sort of Wales, northwestern England, more piling into western Scotland and northern Ireland, not pushing as fast uh, south or inland as like the Jeff Les was showing, but, but there is a little bit of snow around during the course of uh, Saturday. I mean, it's on Saturday night that system moves in from off the Atlantic. Now, this is much further north, much more widespread with the snow. So, this is 6 a.m. 
on Sunday when we've got heavy snow uh, through much of North West England, through Wales, in towards the Midlands, Central Southern parts of England as well. And that band of snow pushes through the Midlands during the course of Sunday morning. Again, it probably brings about an inch of snow, I would have thought that, to... Um, you know, to, to large parts of uh, England and Wales, actually. It's, that's quite a widespread sort of uh, hour or two of uh, persistent snow that's uh, been seen there during the course of Sunday with ICOM. Um, and lingers in the east as well. So it goes right way to east and England, right way through Midlands into East Anglia, up to Lincolnshire uh, as well, uh, where it sort of sticks around more sort of snow, piling in towards Wales, southwest England as well. So the icon looks the most windy of all the models, actually, that we've seen so far, anyway, um, during the course of Sunday. That's a, that's a snow event for most parts of England and Wales. Uh, and, and most parts of England and Wales would expect like an inch, maybe a couple of inches of snow um, from that. So, so that one's uh, very interesting. Uh, right, this is uh, Yo4 from uh, Metro Seal, this UK Met Office uh, model. If you're enjoying this snow watch, then please smash the like button. Let us know in the comments after you've watched this video what, what you think to it. And uh, make, sure, make sure you are subscribed to our channel. So, uh, Yo4 is showing lots of wintry showers in the north and west, of course, of tomorrow. And one or two pushing through across more southern areas as well tomorrow. Um, so, a little bit of uh, wintriness down in the south with those. Uh, showers into Saturday. Uh, again, the showers are primarily in uh, in the northwest. Um, very little elsewhere. Uh, I mean, similar to our page, it doesn't really show up the showers all that well, to be honest. And we get through as far as we go with your forest like to, it's to like seven o'clock in the evening uh, on Saturday when we've got snow showers around western North Scotland, northwest England into North Wales. Um, you can see there's an area of precipitation moving towards Ireland. That's probably the feature that uh, the models are, are moving in during the course of the That's probably the start of it uh, to the south and west of the Republic. And then we've got WRF. So we'll have a look at this one. Again, this one is coming from uh, Metrociel.fr. Uh, so we find that uh, this evening we're going to have plenty of wintry showers in the north of the west, but many places will be dry into tomorrow. Again, it's northern western areas are exposed to those wintry showers once more. Some quite persistent uh, snow looks like pushing through Northern Ireland there, perhaps during the course of uh, tomorrow and possibly down to the Republic uh, as well. That takes us through into uh, Saturday. Again, you see there is quite a few uh, snow showers piling into Wales on Saturday morning. Some around these western coast of North England, Wales, some coming in towards Northern Ireland uh, as well. During the course of Saturday, both snow showers try to push in there, but tend to die away quite a lot. And then on Saturday night into Sunday, this is a band of uh, snow pushing through Ireland. We do have people watching from Ireland, so you might get some snow from this in the Republic of Ireland and in Northern Ireland uh, as well. Um, that pushes across the Irish Sea, intensifies as it comes across the Irish Sea, heading towards Wales, South West England. So by Sunday morning, as this as we go with WRF, but by Sunday morning, there is actually quite a significant snow event going on. Um, across Wales and down into southwestern England. Some snow pushing into more central southern parts of England. Very little again, getting through the Midlands into East Anglia. Lincolnshire weather, we went on into sunny afternoon. This snow across Wales and southwest England would push through Midlands. Like, like we can't say because it's as far as we get to uh, 72 hours, which is midday on Sunday. Um, but yeah, definite sort of snow event for like Wales, southwestern England, anyway, on Sunday and pushing through some southern parts of England too. More snow. It's like it's heading in towards Northern Ireland. And then the last one we'll look at is the uh, ECM to the US. So this would be precipitation type forecast from uh, the midnight run of the ECM. So let's have a look at that. Uh, we changed this in our 10 to 14 day, but I thought we'd start with this. So uh, lots of winter showers piling into the north and west over the next couple of days. And then on Saturday night and Sunday morning, here comes the snow uh, through Northern Ireland, down the IC from Wales into southwestern parts of England. And that pushes through the Midlands, takes a snow event through the Midlands during the course of Sunday morning, heads over towards East Anglia, southeast England on uh, Sunday afternoon. And again, that will probably deposit like an inch or two of snow quite widely uh, across most parts of England and Wales. Now, the uh, midday run of the ECM is updating as we're speaking. 
So uh, this is how uh, the midday run of the ECM is looking. This is like the generic chart. Uh, for Saturday, it's cold, showery sort of day. Winds in from the northwest. Midday on Sunday, we've got this elongation in the isobars, showing that uh, the ECM is still going for this feature to be running across England and Wales, where we've got this elongation in the ice bars, in my highlights will work, there it is, we've got this elongation of the ice bars just here, that is a feature pushing in across England and Wales, taking snow with it. Now I'm going to show you some charts that I've never showed before, um, so this is from WX Charts, you can find a link to all of these websites in the links page, uh, we're on the links page I should say, and um, you can find, uh, in, find the links in the description as well. So this is the precipitation type forecast based on that ECM run that I just showed showed you so uh we'll run through it's generated midday on thursday so uh here we go then we're going into uh saturday lots of wintry showers in the northwest we've got these purple pink colors that's where wintry showers are uh, of course uh now as we run through into uh saturday night sunday there's the air precipitation there come across the irish sea in towards wales and southwest it's southwest england it's suggesting rain for southwest england snow for Wales, and look what happens as we go from Sunday morning at 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. Sunday morning. Band of snow pushes through uh, England and Wales. Heavy snow, that bright purple colours, pink purple colours, showing that is a band of heavy snow moving across England and Wales during the course of Sunday morning and gets over towards the eastern side of the country on Sunday afternoon, where it kind of lingers and then moves away into the North Sea. More snow showers following into Wales and South West England. So, um, so yeah, the, uh, the ECMDF-12s there is also going for quite a significant snow event, actually, on Sunday. Right, so uh, we should wait and see. You know, we're going to wait and see how that all plays out. Um, and uh, it's a little way off, so there's time for this low pressure to be pushed further southwards. Time for it to be pushed northwards, of course. Generally, these features tend to be moved southwards with time. I will say that. But it does look as though parts of Wales, central, southern, southwest England, maybe the Midlands, east Anglia, south east England, where we have struggled for snow so far during this uh, winter, you know, uh, there is there is a possibility there could be like a covering of snow through those areas on Sunday. So we shall see, and time will tell. Right, that's it for today's videos. Uh, please like uh, if you uh, would like to do that. And uh, yeah, thanks so much, everybody. We're going to have Jamie Friday at 10 to 14 day. Uh, tomorrow we'll be live streaming as well. Of course, it's all going to be happening on the channel tomorrow. But for today's videos, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.